Bricks here, and today I have my biggest LEGO Transformer to date. And obviously, it's Optimus Prime. The movie version, that is. Um, he's pretty big. He's definitely the biggest that I have made, by far. Um, yeah, he used up a lot of my parts. Um, and I believe he is minifigure skill. So if we bring in a minifigure here looks to be minifigure scale. It might be a little bigger, but I'm not sure. Looks pretty good to me though. So, um, what else to talk about? Um, the flames. I was going to do like a, um, like assorted blue, yellow, or blue and red tiles here, but it looked a little messy, so I just stuck with the plain red and then kind of fade into blue a little bit. So, it looks pretty good. The colors match pretty well. It's a little messy from the back. There are a couple gaps throughout the vehicle mode. But for a first try on Optimus Prime, I don't think it's terrible. I actually really think it looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, the, the back is probably the weakest part of this, the truck mode. Um, yeah, very good. You got the, the trailer hitch there. Very tall smokestacks. A little bit. Um, yeah, this is based off uh, mostly the masterpiece figure, but uh, some of it is from the um, Revenge of the Fallen Leader, uh, Leader Class toy. So it's kind of a mix between them. Um, uh, yeah, it looks really good. The front grille looks pretty accurate. Parts, and then you got the grill there, the lights, uh, the fenders, it all looks pretty good to me. Um, yeah, it's definitely not the cleanest, there are a couple studs showing, but I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. I kind of look past it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the vehicle mode. I think the robot, my, the robot mode is where this guy shines, so let's get into that. First, what you're going to want to do for transformation is I like to just kind of pull these up and then pull the, the trailer hitch back. Um, and then I just, just like to uh, disconnect these two tiles here. And then this whole panel will kind of just fold out. It, it kind of just explodes. The whole transformation is kind of a mess. Um, just due to the complex nature of the transformation, it's just, it's messy, but it works, so it's pretty good. So again, these will just kind of fold out and explode. Um, and then you're gonna take these smokestacks and then you're gonna rotate at that stud right there. So then you can fold those all the way up. And then fold them back down. Do the same on this side. If you don't disconnect the clip. And then rotate this so that it can clear. Rotate it back. And then this whole section will kind of fold. Well, you and then you can actually take this whole section and it will kind of open up on these hinges here. that'll kind of open up the legs for us to do. So, um, the legs will disconnect from each other, and then they'll disconnect here. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. Um, we'll actually do the arms, it'll make it easier. So these are going to disconnect and just open up here, fold over, and this will fold, and yeah, we'll, we'll get to the legs, yeah, well, let's just do these, okay, so, these, these parts, the fenders will disconnect from the rest of the grill, and then these will, will fold up, and they should fold Of 
course, everything's falling apart now on camera. And those will collapse just like that. You can then open up these toes here, much like the Masterpiece and the Revenge of the Fallen later class. And then the grill will fold into the foot. And then this will kind of accordion into place. And that foot transformation is very smooth. I really enjoy that. Very cool. And it looks really good too. So we'll do the same on this side. So disconnect this from the rest of the grill. This will fold up. Again, everything's falling apart. It's usually not that bad though. There we go. Okay, then this will collapse. Fold out the toes. Fold up the grill, and these will, the foot will fold into place. And now we got the legs pretty much done. So now we're gonna work on the torso, the front part, not. Okay. You can kind of see how big of a mess he actually is. So we're gonna put that stud into there or attempt to at least. Kind of fold these around, that might help. He's such a big mess. It's kind of annoying, but it works. And almost got it in there. There we go, okay. And that should pretty much secure everything in place. And then you can fold these bits down. Fold this up. And this fell off. Okay, um, now what we're gonna do Kind of get the backpack pieces out of the way for now. The back panels. Sorry if this is kind of confusing, it's just a big mess in general. So, hopefully, this is somewhat understandable. So, these chest pieces. Let me raise the camera. So, these chest pieces are going to come out, and then these are going to rotate down into place. And these parts I was gonna do just like the masterpiece, but it ended up a mess. It was so fragile, it wasn't even funny. So I decided to redo it the way the, the Revenge of the Fallen toy does it. Um, and it works much better, so much less fragile. So much less fragile. I can talk. Okay, sorry, I had to uh, readjust everything here. Okay, so get, thing, get things angled. I like to angle these bits up um, a little bit. Little visors. Get on there. And then, man, things are not working for me. Readjust just hang. And we're getting there. So the arms, the arms. 
So these are going to come up. This is going to rotate. This is going to rotate here on this ball joint. And then there is a stud here that will go into that. Right there. Just like that. And then rotate the shoulder. Rotate the fist out. Reattach that. Actually, I think it was like that. And then you rotate that. So, there you go. And there you have an arm done. So you're going to do the same on the other side. so painful to watch, I'm sorry. <laughs> and there you have most of it done. Oh yeah, I forgot to rotate that. And fold the fist out. There you have the most of them done. And then you're gonna rotate around. And these parts here will Basically, you're going to overlap one of the panels over top of the other. So, just put one along the back, and then the other one will just kind of fold against it. The, the backpack is probably the weakest part of the robot mode, in my opinion. It still doesn't look bad, though. It actually looks good. Uh, decent, <laughs> I guess. Um, this part will rotate around, and these fender pieces will fold up. Oh. And there you go. And then this is going to rotate around. And that will kind of just stay there. And do the same on this side. We'll rotate this around first. And then we can kind of just curl this up along the back. And there you have the backpack done. Pretty accurate, good colors. The only thing is these pieces fall off a lot. The fender pieces. Because they're only attached with the uh, one stud. Um, right there. They tend to pop off and they're actually kind of cracked. So they don't have that much collect power. But overall, very, very awesome looking robot mode. I tried to add in as much detail as possible. Um, I think it worked out pretty well. Um, I like the way I did the head with the um, Mithid knives. If I'll focus, there we go. The knives on for the um, the antenna pieces, and yeah, very cool looking. I really, um, really like the look of him. Now the building process. Oh my gosh, it was a nightmare. I really got to the point where I just didn't want to build him, and I just, I took like a couple weeks off, because I was getting so frustrated with him, um, he just kept falling apart, 
and then I almost started from scratch. It was, it was a nightmare, um, to say the least, but I think the result was well worth it. Um, and yeah, it took a lot longer since he's bigger. Here's just a, a full body view of him. Very cool. Do like a 360 kind of thing. Backpack, not too obtrusive actually, like it's decently small, smaller than I thought it would end up, so that is good. Um, things kind of got out of line here. Again, like I said, the backpack is probably the weakest part of it. Um, still doesn't look bad, it still looks fairly clean. Um, yeah, very accurate um, to how he actually looks. And it, the whole torso design is so intricate and complicated. There are so many hinges going on in there. It's almost com uh, confusing, even though I built it, uh, remembering how things go. Um, so, yeah, I, I really like the way the feet turn out, turned out. Um, the way that they just collapse so smoothly. Um, it really looks really good. Oh, uh, these. Down, rotate down, I forgot about that, um, but yeah, the wheels could be bigger, especially here, but overall, I think he looks really awesome, uh, for a comparison, here he is with a minifigure, so, I think that is accurate, I think, it looks pretty darn close, so, there you go there, um, and I did build him a couple accessories. Of course, I built him swords. I don't know why this is on here. Um, this should be on his or his gun. So I built him two swords and a gun. So we'll put the swords on first. Um, so the swords, um, these have that little piece that goes onto that little tube in the middle of that. And there you have that very simple connection, and I think it looks good. Very good, in my opinion. So, you can get some good poses out of him, um, if you would like. So there you have that. Very cool. Um, now for the gun. Um, this little plate here will let's see if I can show you. There is a stud right there that this uh, plate will tap into. So like that, and then I usually close his fingers and then rest this on top, and that usually gives it a good look for his gun. There you go. Oh, looking all ready for battle and everything. There you have that. Very awesome. Um, so, getting his weapons out of the way, we'll get into articulation. So, articulation. Got quite a bit of it. So, well, we have a dislocating shoulder, if you want. That was not natural, but um, you have a ball joint shoulder, a another ball joint shoulder, kind of ball joint elbow, um, ball joint wrist, a lot of ball joints, um, articulated fingers, even the thumb. Um, so that's good. Same on this one, and for the head, you've got a Got ball joints, kind of limited due to the the back here, but still got some good articulation in the leg. Uh, ratchet at the knee for stability. Um, let me look at this. Um, you got a ball joint at the foot. Again, that pops off constantly. Um, and I believe. 
yeah. Oh, and the knee pads can kind of move up and down for whatever needs. So, very awesome. Very cool. I don't plan on doing instructions just because of the size of him, um, and the complexity. He's not that fun to transform. More fun than I thought he would be, um, uh, designing him and everything, um, but he's, he's a beast. He's a big boy. So, yeah. But I, uh, I think the end result is very good, despite the, the troubles I had designing him. Um, I don't know if I'll do another big transformer like this, at least for a while. Um, I need some time to recover, basically. Um, I know some people have done some much bigger than this, but for me, it was a first, so. Yeah, very cool. I will do instructions for Bumblebee soon. They're coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, that is about it for this guy. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a like and subscribe. Um, hope you enjoyed this guy. I sure had a little bit of fun building him, um, but I enjoy showing him. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. And